We're Wild on the Go at the Sacramento Zoo in Sacramento, California. The zoo is now a nonprofit organization that opened in 1927. When I was young, my aunt and uncle lived in this area and I would come to visit every summer. The highlight of that visit was always a trip to the Sacramento Zoo. Haven't been here in many, many years, so we're really excited to see what it looks like now. We're going to bring you along with us. What's your name, please? Uh, Susan Wild, W I L D. That's an appropriate name for today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're right here at the entrance. And you want to go clockwise and hit all the big animals over that way? Yeah, we'll start with uh, A for American alligator. Sounds good to me. Fun fact, alligators have between 74 and 80 teeth in their mouth at a time. As their teeth wear down, they're replaced. An alligator can go through 3,000 teeth in a lifetime. Good grief. <laughs> they should make a lot of money as alligator dentists. Yeah. American alligators are the largest reptiles in the United States. They can get over 12 feet long and weigh as much as a thousand pounds. habitat. This one's like, hey, leave me or me alone. This is a really colorful habitat for these red river hogs. I don't know if I've ever seen these before. They got really interesting ears. <laughs> yeah. That there's an eastern bongo. Do you know that? I did not. I don't <laughs> think I've seen one of these either. <laughs> so what's all the noise in here? Chimpanzees. Orangutan. One of three apes found here at the Sacramento Zoo. With the orangutans, the gibbons, and the chimpanzees. No tails, and a little bit bigger brains. They're from Madagascar, but these guys live in Sacramento. <laughs> this is a baby giraffe. I think it was born uh, September 20th of 2020. 
so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say that it's small, but... <laughs> Six feet tall when they're born, so... <laughs> I like the meerkats, they're so video friendly. Yeah. There's always something going on with these guys. They stand up sometimes like that in the morning after a cool night to sun their bellies and everything, but I imagine they do it to get a good look around too. Look at these guys, they're so beautiful. Other too. They're wrestling. They're, they're playing. <laughs> Look at that. They're fighting. They're play fighting. Yeah. What do you think so far? Is it how you remember it? I really don't remember it at all. Surprisingly, <laughs> it's been a long, long time. But it's a pretty nice zoo. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's very comfortable in here. These three cats are similar in body size. How do their feet differ? Cheetah has small feet to help it sprint. Mountain lion is all purpose feet. And the snow leopard, large furry feet, grip snowy or wet rocks. So pretty. Because cheetah's teeth are so short, they have to kill their prey by suffocation. Kookaburro sits in the oak gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes, he. These red pandas are so cute. So they can move quickly when they're looking for food, but their metabolism is really slow like that of a sloth but they're more closely related to a raccoon. They're really super cute. It's a really interesting animal. It's like zebra-like on the legs and on the back and then I saw its tongue come out and it looked like a giraffe's tongue, really long. Yeah, I think it's called an okapi, and they call the stripes follow me stripes. They're, they think so that their calf can see and follow them when they're going through the dark rainforest. It's a really, really interesting animal. There's one right there feeling squirrely. I was going to tell you that that's a given, but I thought you might say, yeah, that's a given.
We hope you enjoyed our visit to the Sacramento Zoo. We sure did. Comment and let us know if you've been here or if you'd like to visit. And please remember to share, subscribe, and click on that little notification bell. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. You might want to camel up before you come in or use the water fountain.